female dancers and you open the, the symbol of a box with another female coming out of it and the females stri stripping the, f the female guys of the guys and into a guy. I, we decided to keep the beard on and just cake on right, the right. makeup and kind of cover that up a little bit with the fan walking in. So there's this guy wearing a dress that's already in the forefront. And becoming more primal and turning into like stripping off the femininity in a way instead of being okay putting that on which I think a lot of my work deals with is okay getting in touch with that or exploring that. This was the opposite. This was stripping it away um, oh. and just getting to the core of something else. Like, yeah. you, like with the drum beat, the heart, heartbeat or the primal right. conjuring. Right. You guys into a guy? Yeah. deep yeah. shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like Caligari more connects with the ideas of the performance because that started as a visual thing. When I kind of originally thought about Caligari mm -hmm. and I thought about the sleepwalker who, mm -hmm. who went out and rampaged whatever neighborhood he was in, what could we turn it into? What we originally came up with in our first meeting of, of this no right angles cloth box, right. a literal transformation of... You, got, uh, you went into it and were changed. Time compressed, we started later than we thought, what do we got? Right. The idea of the cabinet transformed into something from something that someone went through and was changed to something that somebody something came out of and therefore everyone was changed. Or to transform something has to be exercised. Or a spell had to be concocted to release a demon. Right. This is going to go from the first character you establish when you enter the space to a conjurer who uh -huh. brings forth a demon. Right. The demon transforms you into something yet again. Right. So well, you start stripping off the skins of vanity. Right. The layers come That's off, and what's beneath? Right. A primitive. We kind of worked over the narrative of this to try and figure out how are we going to boil this down. And I think it's another good thing you guys did was you kept boiling down these elements. They just kept coming down to essential things. Oh, and then you have the whole transformation of, of you know the main characters. <clears throat> and the conjurer and the demon and the person that's transformed by their demon and opening that box and then but you then you have the dancers that are puppets to the person that is getting in touch with their own demons but it spreads onto them as well and then you still we still kept the idea from the very get-go of audience as a participatory transformation the with them something is triggered psychologically when one puts on a mask, mm -hmm. you actually you lose your public mask, your right. non-literal mask. That's right. Like, ridiculous. But it does. It makes you lose self-consciousness. It helps to, the, you know, the idea is we wanted the audience to kind of participate as well. You know, you triggered it in the dancers, and then the dancers and the masks, and like getting right, me getting it right in their faces with the cameras, it kind of like took them to another place of being, or at least yeah. hopefully. And it's weird, kind of ironic that you put something on that um, actually removes yeah. something from yourself, yeah. So, you, I don't know, in some way you're, you're hiding something, masking something.